Hello everyone, you are welcome back to my another video. In this video, we are going to study about the alphabet and the letters. So without wasting your time, let's begin the class. I want to start this class with asking you a few questions and answer of those questions will be given in the end. And if you know the answer, please think of the answer and check your English knowledge. Let's begin the class. I'm going to start it from the letter. Okay, what is the letter? And before that, the questions are like, how many letters are there? How many alphabets are there? What is the uppercase letter and what is the lowercase letter? So I have written here four questions and answer of those four questions will be given in the end of the video. If you know the answer, please think of the answer and check your English knowledge. Let's start from the letter. What is this letter? A letter is a particular, a letter is a particular symbol which is used in writing and that that represents that represents sound in its written form do not worry i will make it clear for you that letter let's take your letter letter is nothing but it is a symbol letter is nothing but it is a symbol which 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 produces which produces sound which produces sound Let's take your example. Example for this letter, I'm going to take A. A is nothing but it is a particular letter. It is a symbol. In the same way, we have total 26 symbols. Total 26 symbols. And those 26 symbols produce, those 26 symbols produce 44 sounds. What are those 26 symbols? I'm going to write here A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. See, I, I have written here total 26 symbols. You can say it as 26 letters from A to Z it is total 26 letters. So in the same way, this 26 letters collectively called the this 26 letters collectively called the alphabet. So how many alphabets that we have in English language? English language has 26 letters and those 26 letters collectively called the alphabet, which means we have total only one alphabet. The definition of alphabet would be combination combination of 26 letters is called the is called the alphabet the combination of 26 letters is called the alphabet here the english language is mainly composed of 26 letters and combination of those 26 letters is called the alphabet in the same way the number of letters in every language differs from one language to another language but there is only one alphabet in every language. For example, if you take the Kannada language, it has total 49 letters but there is only one alphabet. I know that everybody thinks that and uh, I have asked the question to many students and they, given me, they have given me answer that there is 49 alphabet. No, there is only one alphabet and 49 letters are there in Kannada language. In the same way, in Hindi language, it has total 46 letters and those 46 letters collectively called the Hindi alphabet. So in the same way, English also has total for 26 letters and combination of these 26 letters is called the alphabet, which means we have total one alphabet in English language. I hope you guys might have understood what is the letter and what is the symbol and what is the sound and how many letters are there and how many uh, alphabet is there. So I hope you got the answer of the first question, which I asked you at the beginning of this class. What is the answer? So we have total 20, we have total 26 letters and the, what is the answer of the second question? How many alphabets are there? So there is no plural form of alphabet. There is only singular form of alphabet and if we use this alphabet as plural alphabet which denotes the language. I am going to discuss about this in our upcoming videos. So before that, let's answer. And uh, those who thought that 
देर आर टोटल ट्वेंटी सिक्स अल्फाबेट यू आर हंड्रेड परसेंट रॉन्ग द एग्जैक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज देर इज ओनली वन अल्फाबेट इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो नाउ we have remaining two questions that will be discussed just two minutes okay uh, did you understand the topic what that I, what i wanted to tell you very simple letter is nothing but what it is a symbol which which produces the sound in the same way we have total 26 symbols which mean total 26 letter those 26 letter those 26 letter produce 44 sound and collectively 26 letter collectively called the alphabet which means we have only one alphabet so do not forget it that and never answer to anybody if suppose if somebody supposed to ask you how many alphabets are there please keep in your mind that there is only one alphabet and 26 letters are there in the english language so i hope you understood let's uh, understand the importance of every letter so see here i'm going to take one example Uh, before that example i want to tell you every letter in english language plays an important role and uh, if we remove single letter from its language that uh, cannot be written correctly or that cannot be written correctly how see here what is this english okay this english word has seven letters and it is a one word if i remove any single word from the, any single letter from this word so can we pronounce this correctly no we cannot pronounce what would be this no it is not correct form of it is not correct word so if i remove the g from its place so can you please pronounce this at english no you cannot pronounce this okay i am going to take it uh, if i remove this l can you please pronounce it as uh, pronounce it as the english no you cannot pronounce it which means every letter every letter plays an important important role every letter plays an important every letter plays an important role in its place i hope you understood the topic that i what i wanted to tell you and uh, before that if you are going to study about the if you are going to prepare for any competitive exam or if you are going to give any kind of exam or if you like to write the stories or if you want to become the storyteller or uh, if you are going to write the stories for the movies you please go through the cap, uh, what is this upper case letters and lower case letters that we will study now so before that if you guys have, if you guys might have understood the topic just note it down i am going to leave the same for a moment okay let's discuss remaining two questions that is third one and the fourth one the third one is nothing but uh, what is this upper case letter and the fourth one is nothing but what is this lower case letter so do not worry i will make you clear in this topic let's write here upper case letters so i am going to write how upper case letters look like very simple a b c d e f g h i j k l m i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z so do not worry it is a magical so upper case letter is nothing but it is the capital letters it is the capital letter now what is the lower case letter i think uh, everybody has understood that what is the lower case letter very simple i am going to write here lower case letters which means how how the lower case letters look like a b c d e y g h i j k l y n y n o p q r r y t u v w w x y z so these are the lower case letter which are also known as the small small letters okay this is nothing but small letters and these are nothing but the 
upper case letter or you can call it as the capital letter so this is the concept that very simple what is the answer of this question here what is the answer what is what do you mean by this upper case letter which means it is nothing but the capital yes it is nothing but the capital letters and what is the lower case letter this is nothing but the small letters sir why do we study this capital letter and small letters why this letter that you have written here very simple because if you are going to write the exam or if you are preparing for any kind of exam you need to have the capital letters knowledge and the small letters knowledge because you cannot write any statement because you cannot write any one statement using only capital letters and you cannot write any one statement or sentence using just small letters so here to, to, to why should we read these capital letters and small letters to understand the topic of capitalization capitalization rules capitalization rules so about this capitalization rules we will study in our upcoming classes so see here if you are going to take one sentence uh, like uh, what is the capitalization rule uh, every sentence starts with capital letter and uh, when there is a proper noun in the statement that proper noun should be started with the capital letter so these are the rules of uh, capitalization of rules so for that reason we have to understand the capital letters and small letters so i hope everybody has understood the class that whatever we have discussed in this class and everybody has got the answer of these four questions uh, by that time i'm gonna end this class so if you have understood the class or if you have any queries you can ask us questions in the comment section so by that time thank you so much bye bye and if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel and share with your friends and bell press the bell icon thank you so much bye bye